For the first few moments of class, we're gonna skip the playlist. So if you're ready to begin, let's come into child's pose for me. Props today, if you're just joining us, are two blocks, and we'll put those right at the top of your mat. And um, after child's pose, we'll start your playlist. So if you have like a phone or a computer that you play it on, you can just keep that nearby. All right, looks like the link is working great. Awesome, so feet at the back of the mat, knees wide, hips on your heels, crawl your hands far away from you. Press your forehead into the mat. Take a second here to land. To allow your whole week to sort of come to a head here. Everything you've been dealing with, you've been sorting through, you've been putting mental energy towards. Can you allow your breath to medicate the energy that you've been taking in? So start to breathe in your nose. Sigh it out your mouth. And again, inhale through your nose. Relax your jaw, your forehead, your shoulders, sigh it away, big. And we'll practice some box breathing. What that looks like, it's an inhale on a count of four. We hold it for four, exhale for four, and hold that for four. So exhale everything away. We'll breathe in on four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Out, four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. In, four, Three, two, one. Hold four, three, two, one. Out four, three, two, one. Hold. In. Hold. Out. In. Oh, hold. In. Hold. Out, hold, last time, inhale, hold, out, hold it for four, for three, two, and one, take a deep breath in through your nose, exhale, walk your hands to the right edge of your mat, anchor down through your left side hip, Connect to that breath a little deeper and take it to the other side on your own time. Check in with your body, this vessel. How do you feel? Where's your mental? And allow it all to connect to this present moment. Let's bring it back to center. And when you're ready to press play on that playlist, you go ahead. And then take it into down dog for me, downward facing dog. Lift the hips, keep the knees softly bent. And start to pedal out your legs. Draw one heel towards the earth and then the next. Spread through your fingertips, press down through each little finger pad. And this class is all about the rain that's happening. We're summoning that rain, whatever it needs to wash away. Slow, smooth breath in. Exhale, take a stroll to the top of the mat, forward fold. From forward fold, inhale, halfway lift. Keep your knees softly bent. Exhale to fold right back down. 
Inhale, we roll all the way up to the sky, standing pose, Tadasana. Reach your arms up as you get there. Catch your left wrist, take a side body stretch on over to the right. Inhale, come back to center, separate your arms, let them float away, and switch sides for me. Dig down through your heels, connect to your feet, and come back to center. Inhale, smooth. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank pose, step, step, strong plank. If at any point you need to take forearm plank, please be my guest. Any wrist situation we got going on. Can you puff up your heart through your shoulder blades up to the ceiling? Can you shift your weight just a little bit further forward? Nice, Sarah. Good, Liza. And then slow lower, keeping your elbows pinned towards your waist all the way down to the mat. Inhale, come up for low cobra, shoulders back, tops of feet pressed down, core is engaged. This takes you into down dog. Use your breath. Exhale to push back. Downward facing dog. Explore. Loosen up a little bit. Take those hips side to side. Look forward at the top of the mat, bend your knees. Walk, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Take your side stretch to the right. Come back through center, switch sides. Inhale back through center. Take a little chair pose for me. Drop down into a squat. We got three breaths here. Maybe you try lifting your toes. Keep those core muscles turned on, the ribs knitting down. Nice, Darcy. Good work. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, step, plank pose. Can you roll your pubic bone towards your navel? Little C curve for the low spine. Good work. Maybe it's Chaturanga Dandasana. Maybe it's all the way to the floor. Slow lower, please. Inhale, come up for low cobra, or maybe it's full up dog. Yes, good. Shoulders down and away. Use the grip of your hands. Exhale, core pulls you back. Downward facing dog. Hip, hips high. Good pace, Rachel. Inhale through your nose. Stick out your tongue for me. Go, ha. <laughs> yeah, maybe one more. Inhale. <sighs> Look forward. This time, try to hop forward if you can, top of mat. Inhale, halfway lift, strong back, strong belly. Exhale, soft knees, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up to the sky. Side stretch, cactus the arms, maybe a little wiggle. Anything you like here, really. Express yourself. Contract the core to find forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, step, plank pose. We'll meet in down dog. So anything you like, if you wanna skip vinyasa at any point throughout class to protect your shoulders, you can always lower your knees to modify. I totally understand. We meet in down dog. All right, spread those fingers, lift through your right leg, soft bend of your left knee. Good, take in that breath. As you lifted your leg, there was more space created for your belly. So you can start to breathe deeper into that belly, starting to open up the hip flexor. If it feels right for you to bend your knee, you can do that. If you wanna keep it straight, be my guest. All right, let's round forward. Keep the hips high, knee to nose. Yeah, good, do two more times. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, round forward, knee to nose. And last one, round forward, knee to nose. Step the foot between your hands. Let's come up for a high lunge here. Stay up on those toes. 
Get low into that front knee. Big breath in. Exhale, left hand comes down, right hand high. Take a twist here. Draw your right hip back, your left hip forward. Look up at that top thumb if you can for me. Two and one. Bring that hand back down. Send your right leg back. Maybe it's floating plank. Maybe it's vinyasa, maybe down dog. Nice, let's switch legs here. Lift your left leg up for me. Bend into your right knee. Breathe into that low, low belly. Beautiful work, one more full inhale. Exhale three times, knee to nose. And I, I, I say keep your hips high so you can have space for your leg when you step through. Last one. Step the left foot through the thumbs. Let's come up high lunge. Stay up on those back toes. Get a little lower. Big breath in. Stay on the exhale. Right hand comes down. Left hand high twist. We're thinking about the ribs turning to the left as opposed to the shoulder and the neck cranking up. One breath. Good work. Frame it off and flow or take it back, doggy dog. Amazing pace, everyone. All right, last breath in here on your down dog. Look forward, top of the mat, your choice. Walk, step, or hop. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Let's come right into that chair pose, just like we did before. Tiny little pulse to warm up your quads. And if you have this huge back bend in your low back, can you start to decrease that by dropping your tail more towards your heels? Lifting your heart like there's helium in your heart. Four, three, two, and one. Pause, let's come all the way down, all the way down onto the floor here for me. Low boat Navasana pose. This is where your optional blanket might come into play if you've got a cranky low back or you want to protect your tail. Navasana boat pose. Now low boat, we take it a little bit lower. So now the mid back touches down. We're still engaging this belly and see if your low back can smush the whole mat down. Whew. Now send your arms up and overhead. We karate chop as we lift a leg. So take your hands to the left side of the left leg, switch, come through, low boat, and then we karate chop to the right. You can point through your toes, you can flex through your feet. To take this out of your neck, you bring your chin in towards your chest, C curving the whole spine. If at any point you need to lower your upper body, be my guest, babes. Just lower it down, yeah? Whew. Totally fine, you're still getting plenty of work here. All right, you've got about 10 more seconds. I'm gonna check these out. Nice, Mia. Good work, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your knees into your chest. Relax your upper body if it's not already. Let's send your feet to the mat. Heels in line with hip points. Shoulders shimmy under your heart. Dig the back of your triceps into the mat like you're a robot. Beep, beep, boop, boop. Good, let's lift up the tail, the mid back, all the way bridge pose. Engage the quads. Act as if you're plugging your femur bones into your hip sockets. Engage your booty. Okay, heel toe your right foot to center. Left knee comes into your chest. We dip the hips, we pulse up. If this is too much to do a single leg bridge lift, we'll do double leg bridge lift, which is just both feet down and you squeeze and pulse. We're starting on our right leg or whichever leg works for you. And I'll let you know when it's time to switch. Yes, good work, Taryn. Beautiful. Keep it up, Sarah. So focused. We've got three. That's two, that's one. Let's go ahead, bring both feet down and let's switch it out. Other leg floats up, heel toe the left foot in and we lift and pulse. 
Don't forget, dig your robot arms down. That will help you find stability. Squeezing the left glute as you lift up, trying to get the hip point all the way to the sky. Just a little bit more, I'm right here with you. Stay with it. Exhale on the exertion as you lift. We've got three, Woo. two, nice work. One, both feet come down. Pulse those hips up like you're the rainbow after a rainstorm. And then lower the spine down, one vertebrae at a time. Tap the tail, grab the knees, gentle hug. Now, if it's in your practice to rock and roll, we're gonna find a little rocking and rolling. If it's not, no worries. Get up to a seat however is most comfortable for you. And then cross your ankles. We're coming into tabletop pose. Quad pose, everything is stacked. Shoulders over wrists, hips over your knees. Grip the ground to pull your helium heart through your arm bones. Exhale, push the floor away, round. Big old cat pose. Inhale, cow, soft elbows. Exhale, tap into that upper back. Push the heart between your shoulders. Chin in. All right, take it a few more times. Last one. Okay, let's come into floating beast. This is you tucking your toes, lifting your knees two inches off the mat. Shins are parallel to the earth. We tap both feet forward, boop, little hop. We stand up, squeeze the glutes, send the arm bones behind your body. We come back into floating beast, tap back, tap forward, hop up. If you need to modify this, we step right leg back, left leg back, right leg forward, left leg forward, stand up, and then switch. Left leg back, right leg back, left leg forward, right leg forward. Still awesome, yeah? So it's either tap, tap, up, tap, tap, up, or it's back, back, front, front, up. Cool? Let's say you got about 20 seconds to start getting that blood pumping. Nice, Gael. Way to go. Great energy. Four seconds. Three. Two, one, come back into your tabletop pose. Just rest for a second. If you want to take your hips side to side, if you want to roll out the rib cage, find a little side stretch through your neck, please be my guest. <sighs> take a deep breath in and then let's find it all again. So from tabletop pose, we send the feet between the thumbs, come through low bolt. We start with our karate chop. We go left, back, right, back, left, back. With your shoulders off the mat or down and your head relaxing as well. Another option is to put a block right below your head to support your head as you do this movement. Nice, Liza. So strong. Amazing work, everybody. Keep it going. You've got a little bit more. I know it's tough. <sighs> Slow down that breathing. All right, finish up through the right side. Great. Knees into your chest when you're done. We're taking bridge lift, either double leg, meaning both feet on the mat, or single leg, meaning one foot center, and you're lifting and lowering, all right? We begin, you got 30 seconds, 15 seconds each side. Good work. Already, you guys are so strong. Nice. All right, about to switch in three, two, one. Switch sides for me. 15 seconds, other side. Nice, Darcy. All right, three, two, one. Pulse both hips up, give me that rainbow arch, belly as high as it can go. Then lower the tail all the way down, one bone at a time. It's either a rock and a roll, or you come over to the side to sit yourself up, tabletop pose. This is our last 
way through, okay? We're doing beast burpees, what we did before. Last little chance for this. So we tap back, forward, up, back, forward, up, or it's back, back, forward, forward, up, and then you switch and alternate your legs. Let's go, I wanna see 30 seconds, starting now. Amazing. Let's shout out to some of you that I can't see right now. Sam, I know you're working hard over there. Let's go, Sue, I'm so happy to have met you tonight. I know it's tough, but you got this. Look, you're already halfway through, 15 seconds. Jamie, let's go, Jamie. We got Jeff, come on. Oh, Griselda, that's a familiar name. Genevieve, come on, Brianne. All right, five, four, three, two, and one. Oop, Bella came to say hi. Tabletop pose. Find a couple of soft cat cows here for me. <sighs> Smoothing everything out. Should be starting to feel pretty, pretty warm, yeah? <laughs> okay, come back, downward facing dog. If anything is too much on your wrists, like I said, it can bring it into forearms. Let your head hang heavy for a second. Let all that energy settle. You gotta connect, because now we're working on flow number one. Flow number one, this is the bones of our flow on your own, that's later, okay? Lift your right leg for me. Nice. And if you're one of those people that loves extra core in every class, like me, then you'll do the knee to nose three times. And if you're one of those people that curses the teacher that's putting core in every class, skip knee to nose. After knee to nose, if you're taking it, we step through the thumb. We use our blocks if they're there. We lift the back leg to the sky, standing needle pose. From here, I'm going to encourage you to draw your right kneecap up. Your left leg as high as you can to the sky, and then let your head go. You might even get a, give it a little yes or a little no. Yeah. Nice. So as you draw your right kneecap up, digging down for your right heel, you start to pull your top knee into your nose. We come to stand up. Use that core connection. Trace your gaze from the floor to the space in front of you. Hug the knee into your chest. Turn that knee out to the left. We'll bring it into your thigh. Yeah, good work. Tree pose. Find the zen that tree pose teaches us, the balance. Maybe this is where you spread your branches and you start to summon the rain. Water these leaves. <laughs> All right, let's take those hands back to prayer. Nice and slow, let's turn the knee back forward. Step those toes all the way to the back of the mat. Windmill your arms open, warrior two. Front knee over the heel. Spread those fingertips away, drop the tail, roll the pubic bone up just a little bit for me. Flip that front palm, reverse inhale, reach. Exhale, let's come through side angle pose. Right hand comes inside of the leg, maybe to a block. Left arm takes it to the sky. Think about spinning the bottom ribs towards the ceiling. Two breaths here, no shoulder pillows. Lots of space between your shoulder and your bottom ear. One more breath. Nice, let's reverse one more time. Inhale, exhale, frame off that front foot. Remove the block if it's there. Your version of vinyasa, which could mean down dog, right? So maybe it's knees down, all the way to the mat. Little baby cobra. Maybe it's up dog, your choice. All right, let's switch it out. So left leg to the sky, either those knee to noses or you're stepping right to standing needle pose. Left leg between or left foot between your thumbs, back leg to the sky, standing needle. Now we're not gonna look like needles, right? <laughs> it's just the name. So draw that left kneecap up, right? We're trying to pull everything up into the belly let the top of the head go, go, go. Send those toes a little bit higher for me. Are you breathing? That's most important. <sighs> All right, knee into your chest. Let's stand up with the knee. Take a moment, find your gaze. Knee out to the right, foot into the leg. Hands to prayer. Grow your branches. Maybe you're at a tree. Rave. 
It's a little tree rave. Eh, eh. Mm -mm. Flip that knee back forward, step it behind you. Windmill open warrior two, get low, low, low. Sometimes you gotta do that, you just gotta let a lot of breath out. Stuck, stagnant energy just needs to leave. And then reverse the energy for me. I'm getting a little alarm here. Reverse all the way, reach back. And then come through side angle, whether that a block is inside of the foot or not. Nice, reverse it again when you're ready. And then find that flow. Downward facing dog. Okay, your choice, yogis. I'm gonna offer you to come through the front of the mat for a little sun salutation, or you can take a child's pose break. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back. Maybe one more vinyasa. Charge up those muscles, maybe a couple extra push-ups. What, what? It is sweat after all. Down dog. Let's do it all again, right leg high to the sky for me. Maybe three knee to noses, maybe not. Standing needle. You guys went black for a second. Oh, there's everybody. Yes, nice Taryn. Lift that leg as high as you can, two. One, draw the knee into your chest. Let's stand up, tree pose. Take your time getting there. Good work, grow your branches, lift your leaves. Let it rain. Amazing, turn that knee back forward, step it back, warrior two. Nice big reverse here, dig deep through that front knee. Inhale, exhale, side angle. Maybe you go a couple times, yeah? Maybe you flow it, flow like water. That's up to you if you're feeling it. When you're ready for vinyasa, you take it and then find it all on the other side. I trust most of you got it, but I'm still gonna cue it. Nice, Rachel, good energy. Yes, Mia, you got this. Left leg high to the sky. It's either three times knee to nose, love that smile. Or step it between the hands, lift that right leg high to the sky. Standing, standing leg pose, that's what we'll call it. <laughs> Beautiful, one more breath, release the back of your neck. Nice, Liza, good adjustment. Okay, start to connect to that core. Hug the knee and stand tall. Trace your gaze as you go. Foot into the leg, leg into the foot, press, press, press. Hands come to prayer. Amazing, Sarah, amazing, Darcy. All right, start to take that knee back forward. If you wanted to flow, flow. And then step it back, warrior two. Reverse, side angle, come on down. And maybe a couple more, maybe you're done and you're ready for down dog again. Have some fun with it. All right, from down dog, if you want another round of that or if you'd like to move on, let me know. So lift your right leg if you want another round or lift your left leg if you're ready to move on. Oh, I see some right legs and I see some no legs. So if you want, if you want to take it out for a second, take, it, take a little child's pose break, but let's find it. Lift that right leg. Exhale three times, knee to nose. Let's go pretty quick. Yeah, let's pick up the pace. Step it through, standing knee to lift that leg. Maybe some Shiva squats added on, back knee to bottom knee, kiss and kick, kiss and kick, yes. And then when you're ready, maybe it's tree pose. Stand tall, bring that foot in, turn it out. Reach up, maybe catch the big toe with your two fingers, send it up with you. Two, one, send it through center. Right, we bring the knee through center and then reverse. Warrior two, side angle. Warrior two. I love you like that, it really waters me down. All right, last set, left leg, lift it up. Maybe it's knee to nose, maybe you're skipping it. Step it through, lift the back leg. Shiva squats, knees come in together, kick it up. Two. One, stand tall, bring the knee with you. Woo, foot in, maybe you catch the toe, maybe you open it up. 
slow transition through center back to warrior two. Reverse, side angle, have some fun dancing your little life away. It's Friday after all. Having fun on a Friday. Maybe next week it'll be a disco flow, although that's sort of a Halley thing. <laughs> Keep those elbows in for me, Gael. I know you want that extra pump, but let's stick to the chaturangas. All right, big breath in through your nose. Exhale, sigh it out. Nice work. Let's start to walk to the top of the mat. We got a little squat series before our final flow, okay? You got this. You got this. All right, from forward fold, take a couple breaths here. It feels nice to sort of hang out. Bend through one knee and then the next. And when you're ready, we'll come to Dadasana, standing at the top of your mat. So I'm gonna face you. It might be tough for you to do that, so I'm gonna encourage you to face the front of your mat. Separate your feet hip distance apart. Let's come through a deep seat here. For this first bit, we're gonna be staying pretty low, okay? Only the final one will be really lifting, so I'm gonna encourage you to stay really low with me, okay? How we start is just a pulse, like we did before. It's five, four, three, two, one. Let's go right leg, step it out, in, left leg out, in. Stay low, keep the hinge of the hips behind you. Try to keep those hips nice and stable. Three, two, one, now we step back. Five, four, three, two, one. Now stand up, right leg behind left. Curtsy squat, switch. Curtsy squat, switch. Squeeze those thighs together. Two, and one. Come back to squat, pulse. Five, four, three, Keep that heart lifted. One, we go right, center, left. Lizzo. Two, one, back. Stay low, keep that heart lifted. Those core muscles turned on, the low back long. One, now we stand up, curtsy squat. Knees tracking forward. Shoulders relaxed out of the ears. Start again, five. Four, three, come on, two, one. We go right leg, center, left leg, center. Maybe a little quicker. Ooh, we got some happy feet in here. Now we go back, back, three, two. This is it, last one. We go curtsy. Yes, good work. Two, and one. Take a little stroll, maybe get a little jazz feet going. High five. You're doing great so far. Yes. Get a little sip of water for me. Cool down, keep your feet moving. Whew. All right, we're gonna have another vote. Who wants another squat session or are you ready for the flow? Give me a thumbs up for squats. All right, I see a thumbs up, it's happening. <laughs> another three round, okay? So we go five, four, three, we go five, four, three, two, one. We go back three times, all right? I'm gonna set you loose. I'm watching you. Was that creepy? Okay, <laughs> start now. We got five minutes on the clock. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Side, side, side. As many as you want. This is free range now. Nice curtsy squats, Rachel. Way to go, Sarah. Everybody's keeping their heart up, their head up. I love to see it. Mia, yes, ma'am. After curtsy squats, you come back into the squat pulses. Targeting those outer glutes, that glute strap. Beautiful, nice energy, Darcy. Wow, she's a dancer. She's a dancing queen. Yes, Liza, so strong. Back. See, one more round after this. Just one more. Last set. Squats. Get low, 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 low. Out. Woo! Rain on me. Back. Send 
that leg all the way back there. Make it work. Work for it. Curtsy squat. Stand. Get low. Maybe you want to travel across the mat for your last little bit here. Thirty seconds wherever you are. Finishing it up. Burn it out. Love the energy I'm seeing in here. Ten seconds. Come on, give it to me strong right here. Last bit. Yes, good work. Four, three, two, one. Come to the top of the mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Give your head a little yes, a little no. Inhale, come up halfway. Turn your toes out, your heels in. Find Malasana, Buddha squat. If you need a block below your tail to lift the floor, please do. And just press the back of your arms into your thighs. Open up your belly. Bop it to Gaga. One more breath. Ease out the tension. After this, it's flow two. As many times as you want, maybe some extra core if you're feeling it, then we're cooling down, okay? Grab your left wrist with your right fingers, pointer finger and thumb. Pull on the space in between the arm and the wrist. Just get a little synovial fluid in there. Then take those left fingertips with your right hand, pull them towards your face, palm away. Go ahead, switch. Point your finger, thumb, grabs the right wrist, pull it away. Now take the fingertips, pull them towards you. And if you're in Malasana, all the way, extra work here, yeah? <laughs> awesome, shake out your wrists. Come into forward fold. If you still want extra wrist love, step on your hands, fingers face your heels, bend into your elbows, let your head go. All right. We're coming through a vinyasa or meet me in down dog. Every song after this is just humorous, I feel like. <laughs> okay. Our first part of the flow, lift your right leg high to the sky. And as always, if you want those three knee to noses, you can take those. We come through. Right leg forward, left leg high. It's either Shiva squats like we've been doing, or if you're feeling cuckoo today, we bend into the bottom knee, lift the heel off, strong straight arms, kick ups, bottom heel to right glute. Left leg is flexed or pointed. So it's either Shiva squats or kick ups. Right leg comes down, left foot comes behind right. We bend both knees. It's a curtsy squat. As you stand up, left leg comes with you like we've been doing. Step it behind, curtsy squat. Good work. You've got four of those. From the knee forward, we send it back. Pass through warrior two, all the way into left knee bend, skandasana. Pick up those toes. From here, take your hands to prayer. Spin your ribs towards that left leg. Maybe you open, we pulse. Pulse and twist. Four, three, right foot is flexed, two, one. Windmill your arms back into warrior two. All the way down, maybe it's a side plank with the left arm. Maybe you skip it, vinyasa. <laughs> That's your flow, boo. Okay, let's go left side. Three times, knee to nose. Step it through your thumbs. Back leg lifts. Either Shiva squats, knees kiss, send it up. Or strong straight arms, lift the bottom heel. Heel to high knee, kick ups. This side might be a little different. <laughs> Left foot down, right foot comes behind, knees bend, curtsy squat, propel up, right leg up, send it back. 
talk about sweat. Lift it up, send it back four times. Send it all the way back. We come into Skandasana on that leg. Twist it open. Tiny pulse. 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 One. Windmill back to the front of the mat. Take your time. Vinyasa or side plank. Maybe a couple different options for side plank. This is your flow. I encourage you to make it yours. If you need a little break, go right ahead. I'm gonna cue it one more time and then I'm gonna set you free with it, okay? Right leg high. Get your core in there or step it through your thumbs. Nice, Liza. Great work. Woo, Rachel with the kickups. Nice, yes. And then that right foot comes behind into the side for curtsy squats. Maybe Prince can help us get a little more focused. <laughs> yes, Gael, get that back leg straight and up there. Kick with that bottom heel. Yes, that's exactly right. Yes, we come into Skandasana. You were right, Sarah. <sighs> twist it open or it's a prayer twist and we're pulsing with the leg we're bending into. One, use the strength of your straight legs to windmill you back, vinyasa or side plank. Maybe you grab the foot, maybe you step it behind, back bend, all sorts of creative options we have here. Then your left leg when you are ready and you feel prepared. We start with Shiva squats or kickups. Nice, once you get your footing, it's curtsy squats. Rachel just kicked me in the face because she was like, what are you putting me through? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> it's an honor to be kicked by you. Nice, Liza. So strong. Amazing, Mia. Yes, good work. It's a slow step back to that right leg skandasana if you're on your right side. Good. Yeah, tiny pulse with a twist. Keep the heart lifted. Nice, Gael. Beautiful, Taryn. And then we windmill through center, yes. Maybe it's side plank, and maybe you've had enough and you're ready for that flow or down dog. Yeah, nice. All right, I'm setting you free. Let's say two minutes, make it yours. If I see us getting way off base, I'll start cueing again. And I'll start flowing up here in just a minute. Crank up your music and just let Prince carry you through the rest of it. Darcy with the kickups. Look at those triceps turning on. So strong. The key is to keep the top foot flexed and the top leg as straight as possible when you're kicking up. And think about hips overhead, heel to booty. Nice, Gael. Way to go for it. So strong. Good work, yep. Purple rain. Mia, best seat in the house right here. <laughs> <laughs> you cutie. <laughs> Taryn, I bet you could do a kick up. I know you're healing, but I bet you could do one. <laughs> I saw the little pause. You were like, I'll think about it. There she goes. Yeah, lift up onto those toes. Bend into the knee and then hop up. Hips overhead. Strong straight arms. Bend and hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. You were there. Nice work, Sarah. That's, you look fierce, so strong. After that curtsy squat, we float it all the way behind. We go deep into that skandasana pulse. Two, one, windmill, strong straight legs. Optional side plank. 
And maybe a little tree variation. All right, we're coming up on our final round. I think we have time for everybody to go one or two more times. And if you feel like just shaking your booty, if you feel like taking some cat cow, if you're feeling like hanging out in child's pose, I resonate with all of those things. That too, Mia. <laughs> I resonate, I feel. <laughs> Get that knee up there, Sarah. I know you got it in you, just a little bit more. Yes. Beautiful, Gael. Good work. Lift those hips, Rachel. Yes! She's a starfish. <laughs> and a mermaid, all in one. Darcy's out here killing the game. Yeah, kick that heel up there. Okay, we're coming up on that time. Once you're done with your uh, second side on your last round, we'll meet in down dog or child's pose, whatever it is you prefer. Strong leggies today, strong core, strong will and the rain's gonna wash it all away tomorrow. Oh, how cozy you'll be with the rain outside. Ah, <sighs> all right, we're starting to wind down. I'm seeing us finishing up. Take a slow, smooth breath in through your nose. Tire exhale, close off your mouth. Just through your teeth we go Good, let's find it again. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, we go. Rock your forehead side to side. Massage out that third eye in child's pose, please. If you're in down dog, you can just give your head a little shaky shake. And just notice the difference between the energy you carried as you put on your Zoom and you opened your laptop and now, the way your energy has shifted, the way your emotions have altered your physical body and the way it feels different. When you're ready, we'll sliver forward onto your belly for Sphinx Pose. <clears throat> Bring your hands forward, your elbows just a little bit in front of your shoulders here. Stretch this low belly, breathe all the way into your pubic bone. Reach the top of your ears to the sky. Take your right fingertips to your left elbow. Left heel comes in towards your left tiny. We lift off that left hand and reach back for the foot. If we can grab it, then we start to pull it in just a bit. Keep that left hip grounding down as well. So if that's starting to pop up and you're pulling, we want to decrease the stretch a bit here. If you're feeling open enough in your shoulder, you could flip the palm to face down, elbow to the sky. Deep breaths, keep those hips stable. Press down through your pelvis, your pubic bone even. Oh no. One more breath for me. All right, as we exhale, no slingshots please. Soft release. Let that leg go long, come back through Sphinx Pose. <sighs> Neutralize with a breath. And we start to switch. Left fingertips to the right elbow. 
catch the right foot. Whatever your flexibility is, that's what we find. If we can't reach the foot, we're hugging the heel in energetically, sending the hand back. Two breaths. Good work. Start to softly release. Let that foot go. Hi, baby. Come back through sinks pose. Oh, yes. Good down, dog. And then we start to flip over onto your back. So send your right arm through underneath the left. Pull all the way onto your back like a pancake. <laughs> and we'll take... um. Reverse pigeon here. So right ankle to left thigh, hug behind the left thigh, give it a little squeeze. <laughs> Roll out your ankles, you can point and flex through your toes. Good work. And then nice and easy, no drama, just switch it out. Put the opposite ankle on top of the thigh, give it a nice big squeeze. Point, flex, circle out the ankles. Relax your jaw, your face, your shoulders. Bring the knees together, the feet together, give it a big squeeze. Open up for happy baby pose. You can take it side to side if you want. Try to smush the whole back on the mat here. Upper back, even behind the cervical spine, the neck. Try to lengthen that into the mat here, the tail. From here, if you're prepared for an inversion, you can take any kind of inversion you want. We warmed up your core a lot. If you're feeling like you want to do headstand or go to the wall and try handstand, be my guest. If you're in the mood for shoulder stand, we'll send the toes behind you, use the strength of your arms. Or your inversion could be a block below your tail, legs up in the air. This is an inversion. Anything where your hips go above your heart. If you are in shoulder stand, Support your low back with your hands. Your shoulders will shimmy together. Use the connection of the core. Nice long neck for me. And then start to bend your knees in towards your ears. Send the feet behind you for plow pose. Tuck those toes. Round through the spine completely. And then we use the hands, the shoulders, the arms as breaks as we lower down one bone at a time. If you're up on that block for me, you can start to bring your knees back in towards your chest whenever you're ready or stay there as long as you want. We'll all bring the feet to the mat. Lift the hips up for bridge pose. Just a gentle bridge. We're not rainbowing this one, even though the song is Rainbow Connection. <laughs> and just breathe into this length, thinking about tail to calves, pubic bone to belly. Three. Send yourself a little bit of love. Let that water, that rain, wash away any sorrows, any worries. And lower down. Take a spinal twist of your preference. Knees to one side, arms T out. Maybe you cross the legs as you do so. Three breaths here, taking that breath all the way to the low back. And we'll switch sides when you're ready. Squeeze the belly through center and take it to the other side. Big sigh out. <sighs> Soften your jaw. Soften your eyes in their sockets. 
One last breath. Take it through center and find your final form, your Shavasana shape of choice. Whether that's leg long, legs long, arms long, taking up space. Yeah, maybe it's a hip opener, feet together, knees wide. Maybe it's legs up the wall if you have a wall nearby. Totally relax. If you're feeling like you want to skip to the Shavasana song, all you have to do is press next. And the song is called Water Prayers. Take a deep breath in, exhale, sigh it out, and stay right here as I part with a little bit of wisdom from young Pueblo. Begin healing yourself. It sets off waves that connect us to those who have healed in the past and those who will heal in the future. When we heal ourselves, it gives strength to those who need more support to take on their own personal healing journey. What we do reverberates throughout time and space, like a rock thrown into a lake. The circles it creates moves in all directions. Settle into your breath a little bit more and start to wiggle your fingers, brush your thumbs over your fingertips. Take your head from side to side. Reach your arms up overhead. And hug your knees into your chest. Take it to your favorite side for fetal pose. When you're ready, we'll press up into a seat. Hands come to prayer right at your heart space. I just want to extend some extra gratitude to all of you today for being able to make it, for showing up, for shining out, for rocking out, and a little bit to my um, fearless manager, Liza, who has had one of the most transformative years of her life. Such a blessing to have her energy here. She just welcomed a new baby into the world, and um, we can all be grateful for the newness that is happening. Thumbs to third eye. I love you. Namaste.